Hello fellow tankers, this is Dauntless, and today I'm going to be playing a game in my tier 9 Czechoslovakian medium tank, the Skoda T50. My brother Jake is going to be running in his tier 9 French medium tank, the AMX30. And we like to play combos together. You know, if you play platoons with any of your buddies, I do recommend playing similar um, type vehicles, for instance two medium tanks, because it really does help you synergize well together and play effectively. That or playing artillery with a light tank, you know, or a light tank and a tank destroyer, but something that complements each other well. Something like if someone was playing a medium tank and someone was playing a tank destroyer, a lot of the time it's hard to actually help each other out effectively. And if you're playing very close together, it is nice to play um, a medium tank with another medium tank or sometimes a really fast heavy tank is also nice as well. So I purchased this Skoda T50 recently because my brother highly recommended it. <laughs> he loves his um, TVP, the tier 10, and he told me that I have to get it. And so after many years of holding off on it, I finally decided to pull the trigger one day, started grinding this line. I'm at the tier nine currently, and I have to say, I really do enjoy it. I'm used to playing auto loaders, I guess, to a certain extent because of my Lorraine that I purchased. Um, a few months ago and because of that I kind of have a feel for like that 320 burst damage I guess the alpha on this thing is 300 not no oh, it is 320 and so okay so it's a little bit different than the Lorraine but overall I kind of am comfortable with the way this gun shoots and handles but I do get myself in trouble once in a while because I'll overextend and I only have three shots instead of four so I have to kind of keep that into consideration as well and so their STB which is a very good player um, according to XVM anyway, is spotted, and it's causing us to hesitate a little bit on if we want to push in or not, because right now we just have a few tier 8s pushing down the A9 line, and they have a lot of vehicles backed up there. And with that STB's presence, it's really hard to put pressure with the STB's great gun depression up on to, let's say, the C8 area, which is normally where I'd want to push. But the STB looks like he's not running a fire extinguisher, the Patton takes him out with a nice shot and a fire. He's probably running consumables like food um, to further increase his DPM. But with this presence gone, I know that we can comfortably push in. I'm not too worried about the one line because we have a couple of our tier 10s back at base. They're going to be able to hold them off as long as we need in order to push forward and take advantage of these vehicles here. So their E1 gets completely destroyed. He was probably reloading his clip. Um, something to keep in mind if you're an autoloader not to push into situations like that because when you have to reload your clip you're basically screwed and people understand that autoloaders have bursts like that so anyway right now I'm sitting at a thousand damage I still have all my HP I probably could have afforded to be a lot more aggressive there if I wanted to but because the game is still quite young you know only three minutes in I try to be really conservative for the first few minutes of the game I almost take a shot on our mutts right there because he pulled forward into my gun but fortunately I don't put a shot into him and I'm able to actually get the shot on the arty. So fully aimed shot there into the RHM. It looks like I connected but it's actually my brother that made the hit. Now I have to reload and I am i don't even know where that shot went honestly. That was a perfectly fully aimed shot. It wasn't even that far but whatever RNG. So again I still only have a thousand damage. I really want to get more and I'm gonna push in, but it's really important in these situations not to get too greedy. My brother doesn't really have a lot of damage either, and he's really wanting to get in and get that damage, but they still have a lot of nasty vehicles left on their team. So quick shot, miss, second shot, fire. He puts it up very quickly. I think he's probably running a premium fire extinguisher because I only did 73 damage to him, but I'm able to at least get one shot in. But unfortunately, I take a shot from the Scorpion G, which puts my HP down to 1100 which, you know, is still good enough HP to brawl with, but I could get one-shotted by that FP-183 if I'm not careful. So I'm almost reloaded with my clip. That is one thing I love about the Skoda is the fact that it reloads very quickly, and the 183 takes out my brother. Now, I guess maybe it's because I was trying to avenge him, but I'm like, screw you, 183, you can't take out my brother. So I pull forward really aggressively, able to finish him off, put a shot into the Emol and finish him off, and then also Put a nice shell that penetrated miraculously into the side of that IS-7. So that was kind of a ballsy move right there, pushing in like that. But because I knew the 183 had fired, and I think it's the fact that he killed my brother, I just kind of went in like, ah, screw you. And I was able to finish off two vehicles with my clip, as well as put a nice shot into the IS-7. 
So this WT is kind of just out in the open here. I take a risk. I knew he had fired, so I put three shells into him. Scorpion G puts another shot into me. And at this point, I'm thinking, okay, you need to die. You need to die, buddy. I'm going to focus you out next clip. And so I'm just waiting for my reload here. They only have three vehicles left. And so I know that I'm not going to really die if I'm careful. But I want to try to finish off the Scorpion G that has put, some, put two nasty shots into me. I put one into him, he starts backing up, and I'm able to connect and finish him off. Putting my damage up to 3700 damage in a couple of minutes, which is actually pretty good considering I was only at 1000 damage just like 2 minutes ago. So this IS-7, he looks like he could use a nice clip as well as this WT, and so I have a few seconds left in my reload, my team is pushing in really fast, and I'm only going to have a couple seconds to clean these guys up. I go for the IS-7 at first, but I realize this RHM is going to present a much easier target to penetrate with my heat shells that I have remaining, and I'm able to get a couple more shots in, putting my damage total up to 4400 damage in a 6 minute game with 5 kills. If you ask me, that's a pretty good idea of what this vehicle can do, very very bursty damage, and it's a lot of fun. If you guys don't have this vehicle, it doesn't seem like it's a super popular vehicle in the meta right now, but I really, really enjoy it. And if you're looking for something that you can carry with, you can have a lot of fun with, I highly recommend picking up one of these bad boys. Anyway, guys, hopefully you liked this replay. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you give it a like down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel for more content like this in the future. As always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.